Well, this next LP, of course, is um, based off another series in the Super Sentai universe. It is known as Tokuto Sentai Dekarenja. So we're going to be playing Power Rangers SPD for the Game Boy Advance. And of course we're going to be playing as, well, Deca Ranger. So we're going to play this on normal. And, well, we're going straight into episode zero to one. Destroy the planet Nyanda! It's useless now that I, Crumb, have drained its resources dry! I found a new target! Earth! Yeah, it was a video game once. And the funny thing about this is, um, we go to episode one and. We just go straight into it. SPD, emergency. I'm detecting an abnormal energy reading, which matches the intergalactic warlord, Grum. Deca blue, deca green, deca pink. Go and investigate. Okay. Get going, deca ninja. Deca blue, can you hear me? Crybots are in the warehouse. Eliminate them. Now, yes, I am calling them by their original name, which is Deca Ranger. So, therefore, just to show you, yeah, that's how I know. Because I have actually seen Deca Ranger quite a few times. It's a pretty good series. So, we learned about the double jump. In which Doggy Kruger, yes, in the Japanese name is name is still Doggy Kruger, except it's spelled with a C. His last name starts with a C and not a K. Or I think it's the other way around. Fortunately, we have no Deca Master here. So, of course, as we have our civilian powers, our civilian powers regenerate over time. So, therefore, the Deca Rangers have somewhat of an infinite usage of SP. I actually saw Power Rangers SPD before, and it's close to the original. First time we've ever seen a black guy actually lead the SPD, or actually lead a Power Ranger unit, like, ever, so... Not knocking what's going on, but, you know, that's kind of a first. Another first in the history of the Power Rangers. Now, this game is somewhat of a bit of everything. I'm going to put Turbo on because, well... I don't want to be tapping all this time. Shoot, I want to get my finger a rest. Plus, there are a lot of enemies around. Finger can easily get tired from all the tapping, so I'm 
kind of saving my energy. So after we take out all these crime bots, we proceed further. In which we're still not doing it. Yeah, the sad thing is... When you duck, you have no attack, so therefore... You're leaving yourself open to attack. Commander Kruger! Yeah, with a C. The Japanese version is with a K. The crybots have been neutralized. Nice work, Blue. Sir! Blue Trubium foot soldiers just showed up! We need backup! Commander Kruger, they need our help. Fine. Deca red, deca yellow. Get going. But be careful. Deca red. Don't take it easy on them. They're tougher than the crybots. Especially what they do is spam. So basically, with Decker Red, he has a wall jump. Now, like I said, I actually tried the rest of the GBA games. They're not some are just not as good as others. So yes, I I did kind of a bit of a practice run on them, and you know some just weren't playable for me. So, I played this and, well... Let's just say it works for me. As you can see, I'm just getting away with a lot of hell here. I guess they cut out all that bullshit that went in, in between Decker Ranger. <laughs> like all that quarreling and shit. It works for me, you know. I think once they got into the... I think once you come down to it, you know, some of it is really unnecessary. As you can see in this boss fight, not much of a boss fight, all you need to do is just... Focus most of your attacks on the Trubian Foot Soldier. And take out the crybots and mission complete. All clear, Commander. Grum's gonna need gonna need to try harder next time. Absolutely. Wow, that one big bolt just turned into a little tiny thing. So, our episode is clear. And next is episode two. And we're facing a new threat. Now, I don't know how long this episode is because I never got that far on it. But we're going to see anyway. I may do this in one video. I may do this in parts. I don't know. Depending on how fast this actually goes. Listen up, Ring Joss. Salamat is wrecking havoc in the city. Deca Green. 
take the green Delta Runner and head him off. I'm on it. Well, not on it, more like in it. And look out, Salamat. You're gonna be toast. Mm, buttery toast with some bacon and eggs, maybe. Yeah, like, that's another reason why I just didn't like about SPD. Just, some of the characters were just, I don't know. Not like the original characters. Deca Green, you can think about food later. The laser cannon on the Delta Runner can intercept any attack. Don't let any, don't let him destroy the city. Right, the city. Okay, boss. So with Deca Green, we're gonna be playing Missile Command. So if you're familiar with Missile Command, then you know what you need to do. Make sure that none of these missiles will actually hit any part of the city. So yes, I'm using every sort of code I can to my advantage because It is very easy to, it is very easy to actually miss, just like that. So the thing is, you want to not let this guy destroy a city. Because you lose health if you destroy a city. So all you need to do is just defend it. As best as you can. Commander, I've been able to div divert his attention away from the city. For now. Okay. Thank you. Ahem. <clears throat> Are we done yet? Are we done? Are we done? Excellent, Decaranger. Now is our chance. Go get him. You okay? Decayello, the city is under attack by Crybots. Stop them. So now we're Decayello. Uh, one moment. Okay. And what is Dekiel's power? Uh, she can do a roll. Like so. An evasive roll, or a dodge roll, however you like to call it. Apparently the Decker girls actually have the escape roll for the Ukemi. Ah. Uh, come on, stop lagging. Oh yeah, another thing that Decker Yellow can do. Give me a second. I'm gonna pause for a moment. And let me see. Just give me a second here. Okay. Now I think we're straight now. <laughs> I hope we're straight now, cause this cause I swear it, the updates, they kinda get stupid. Anyway, yes. What I haven't shown for Decca Yellow. Is she can make multiple images of herself. Like so. Let 
Imagine if there was a f boss fight and that were to happen. Oh, man. Instant Onish for the win. So when we get to the streets, what you need to do is just be careful because we're in the middle of traffic. But the trick is to really stay here. Because for the most part, most of the traffic is just going to go straight at you from the left side. Drive by! So this really is California. This is not Los Angeles, this is San Angeles. 2038. All clear here, Commander. There's no way they were gonna keep me down. That's what she said. <laughs> no chance at all. Head back to base. We're detecting crybots are within this building. Something is going on. Decca Pink, get in there and take care of them. And Decca Pink also has the Decca Fencer, or the Defencer. I suppose that's the name of their sidearm. And she has the power to beat and beat down evil with an iron fist. Literally. See? Knocking down doors with an iron fist. Ain't that just like a woman to do that sometimes? No offense to anybody who is a woman. Well, she sure does enjoy fisting, doesn't she? I mean, really. You know, just jam that fist right right through that hole and pow! You know? I think we had a run with, um... The Decca Rangers for at least um, two good episodes. Because this is the last of the Decca Rangers, which is Decca Pink. And I suppose the Japanese version would have been called Special Police Decca Ranger. Considering that's what SPD would have meant. No way in the world it would have been called Super Police. With Power Ranger shows as they are today, they just don't hold a candle to Super Sentai. They really don't. As, as you know, Power Rangers is just a franchise. The show can be shitty as long as they sell their merchandise. But with Super Sentai, it's a little bit more historic. Which is kind of understandable. It's just like Kamen Rider. Yeah, I think sometimes we need to, you know, take a step back and just enjoy what we got on TV. Or actually just enjoy what we should look at on the internet. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and you can also hit enemies with that. With the Iron Fist, oh yeah. You can also hit enemies with the Iron Fist, like so. Mission clear. All bots are destroyed, Commander. But, uh, I stink. I'm getting this shower ASAP. Agreed. You've earned it, Decca Pink. <sighs> Be careful, Red Ranger. Why do they keep saying Red Ranger? Decca, Decca Red. Selma is nearby somewhere. Like I said, I prefer calling them by their actual names. Hey, look! I was watching. An, I was watching enough um, Super Sentai to know. Oh, that's what their actual names are. So we're at we're at the warehouse district with Deca Red, and we're just simply not gonna piss out of everybody. Because Decca Red is simply doing what he does best. Now there is another Power Rangers game that I would like to do. And I and I suppose this is the best out of the batch. I'm going to do it for the DS. Now, will I do it this week? Maybe and maybe not. I may do it when I come back from my vacation, though. Yeah, you can tell I have practice with this game. Nice if they did have a ducking attack. Now the trick here I like to use is um well for the most part your invisibility. That's the best way you can actually get through this boss fight. Because when you are invisible, you can only do it while you're moving. Oh no, you ain't dropping no forklift on me, you bastard. Salama, you are charged with destroying the city. Judgment time! Three. Two, one. Guilty as charged, bitch. Episode three. And what am I going to do in episode 3? Well, you'll find out after this.